You wanted safer, we delivered. You wanted simpler, we delivered. You wanted smaller, we delivered. You wanted the next generation of jet fuel thermal oxidation testing, we delivered. Introducing the Jeff Tot 230 Mark IV. One of the features of the Jeff Tot 4 is that it is easy to work with. In this video, we'll show you how to set up and run a sample. After you press the power button, the first screen you'll see is the home screen. If you look at the top of the screen, you'll see the status bar. You'll be able to see the status bar on every page. It shows the current status of important information like the instrument state, alarm indicator, username, method name, activated external connections such as Ethernet or USB, user access including normal or service, and the system date and time. If you're familiar with previous generation Jeff Tots, you'll recognize plenty of similarities, and what isn't similar is designed to be intuitive and easy to understand. To get started, you'll filter the jet fuel directly into the sample container. This process hasn't changed from the Jeff Tot 3. Make sure you perform this step in a laboratory hood. While the fuel is being filtered, select Run from the home page for the Test Setup instruction screen. This lists all the steps to assemble and install the test components to the Jeff Tot. You'll also see button commands on this page that allow you to manually flush the system or to start the automated breakpoint program. Assemble the pre-filter. To do this, place the O-ring on the bottom cover, then place a white filter over the screen and the housing after quickly checking both sides of the filter to verify no blue separator is attached and close the assembly. We now have swivel screws that replace the hex screws, so you don't need any special tools to assemble the Jeff Tot 4. The test section hasn't changed in the Jeff Tot 4. It uses the same heater tube as previous generation Jeff Tot instruments. You can easily recognize the heater tube components. Heater tube, test section, O-rings, ferrules, test filter. For this example, we'll use an intelligent heater tube, but the Jeff Tot 4 is also compatible with the original Alcor heater tubes, just like the previous generation Jeff Tot. Assembling the heater tube is easy. Insert the heater tube into the test section with the engraved end of the heater tube up towards the test section outlet fitting. Then assemble the ferrules, O-rings and locking nut and line up the heater tube shoulder with the center of the hole in the outlet. Now repeat the process on the other end, making sure the heater tube shoulder is still aligned with the center of the hole in the outlet. Insert the test filter into the outlet fitting with the red colored side out, followed by an O-ring, and then the outlet line. Tighten the outlet line to the test section so the opposite ends of the lines are vertically aligned. If using a regular heater tube, you may press the heater tube serial number input box and manually enter the serial number. Otherwise, continue with installing the test components. Do a quick inspection of the test section assembly and after you confirm that it's correct, install it in the bus bars. If you use an intelligent heater tube, the serial number will automatically populate the heater tube serial number box. Now, install the pre-filter assembly. Then, install the inlet line between the pre-filter assembly and the test section and connect the test section outlet lines. Insert the heater tube thermocouple completely into the hole in the top of the heater tube and slide the holder over to hold the thermocouple in place. Check the status of the tube isolation. If there is an electrical short between the heater tube and test section, you'll be able to see this on the screen. If you see this indicator, you'll need to correct it before moving to the next step. More detail on how to correct this is available in the user manual. By now, the fuel should be completely filtered into the sample container. Attach the sample head to the sample container by lightly screwing the two together. The graduations will always align to the front. Then, insert the sample and waste containers and heads into the respective slots in the unit. 
the heads are indicated to prevent incorrect installation. Connections to the sample container and the waste container are indicated with a check or an X. Close the test area door. The door status indicator will change from a red X to a green check. You've now set up the GEFTOT 4. Now you can start the test, which will only take a few more steps. The first step is to press the Next button. Once you do this, the test information screen appears. On this screen, the user will enter the test information for the sample and select the test method. Once you get all the information entered, press the Start Test button. The GEFTOT 4 will prime the fuel pump automatically and then start the aeration process. One of the features that's different in the new GEFTOT is that you no longer need to be in front of the unit. It will run automatically to the end of the test. Once the test is complete, the fuel in the lines of the test section will automatically be flushed out to keep the jet fuel from leaking out of the lines when you take the instrument apart. When the test is done, you can rate the heater tube. Let the heater tube section cool and then remove the heater tube and rate the deposit as specified by the standard you use. Next, go to the TDR tab. If you used an intelligent heater tube like this one, insert the IHT into the reader slot located at the top of the instrument. The IHT serial number will automatically populate in the serial number field. Select the tube rating from the drop-down menu. Press OK and then press the Save button to save the data onto the IHT and into the file database on the instrument. 100 tests can be saved on the unit and can also be saved on a USB drive. You can see the test results on the screen as well as print them from the Results tab. In addition to being safer, smaller, and simpler, the GEFTOT 4 automates activities that have traditionally been time-intensive, like pump priming, flow monitoring, and sample aeration. Features like the Quick Connect dryer canister, toolless fasteners, and automatic line flushing make it easier and safer for you to use. The design was not only based on our 40 years of industry-leading experience, but also on input from customers like you. Visit www.paclp.com for the latest information or to contact an expert.